This video provides an example of solving an algebraic word problem involving money. Let's read the problem. LeBron invests $10 million in two different stocks. One stock yields 10% interest and the other yields 5% interest. How much is invested in each of the stocks if the total investment brings in $650,000 per year? So the first thing we need to know with this type of problem is the formula principal P times rate R times time T equals interest. So let's set up a table based on that formula. We have two different stocks. We have a 10% stock and a 5% stock. So we have a table with four columns. We have a column for the principal P, the interest rate R, time, t, and interest, i. And remember it's p times r times t equals i. So let's see if we can fill in this table. Okay, do we know the, the principal? Do we know the amount of money that's invested in each of the two stocks? We do not. That's what the problem is telling us to find. It says how much is invested in each of the stocks. So those are our variables in this problem. Those are the unknowns. So we're going to use the variable X for the 10% stock and Y for the 5% stock. Okay, let's look at the rate. Do we know the rates? Yep, they give us the rates. It's 10% and 5%. So we have to convert both of those percentages to decimals. So 10% will be 0 0.10. 5% will be 0 0.05. <coughs> Time? Typically with word problems um, like this, the time is yearly. We're talking about years or annual amounts. For example, the interest rate is an annual interest rate. In this problem, uh, we're told that the total amount of interest he makes on his investments is $650,000 per year. Okay, So for our T, we're going to use one year. Okay, so now we apply the formula, P times R times T. So for the 10% stock, we have X times 0 0.10 times 1 is 0 0.10X. For the 5% stock, Y times 0 0.05 times 1 is 0 0.05Y. Okay, so now let's see if we can set up our two equations. We need two equations to solve this problem. Right, we have two unknowns, x and y, so we need two equations. So for the first equation, we're going to look at the principal, the amount of money that's invested in each of the two stocks. Okay, and we're going to look at the first sentence of this problem. It tells us that LeBron puts in a total of $10 million in the two stocks. So the amount that he puts into the 10% stock, x, plus the amount that he puts into the 5% stock, y, equals $10 million. So that's our first equation. x plus y equals $10 million. For the second equation, we're going to look at the interest. Okay, We're told that the total amount of interest brought in by the both stocks combined is $650,000. Okay, so the amount that's brought in by the 10% stock is 0.10x <clears throat> plus the amount that's brought in by the 5% stock is 0.05y. Both of those two added together equals 650,000. So that's our second equation, right? 0.10x plus... 0.05y equals 650,000. Okay, so now I have two equations and two unknowns. I have a system of equations. So there are a number of ways that we could solve the, the system. Typically, uh, the methods of addition or substitution are used. In this particular problem, I'm going to use the method of addition. So what I want to do is 
I want to add these two equations together to eliminate one of the variables. Okay. So in order to do that, I need to manipulate both equations. All right. So let's say I want to eliminate the, the x. What do I have to multiply both of these equations by so that when I add the two equations together, the x's will drop out? Okay. Well, let's say I multiply the top equation by 10 and I multiply the bottom equation by negative 100. Okay, if I multiply the top equation by 10, let's look at just the x terms. I have 10 times x is 10x. For the second equation, I have negative 100 times 0.10x, that equals negative 10x. So when I add those two together, 10x plus negative 10x, the x's drop out. So let me go ahead and do that. So for the first equation, I have 10 times x, which is 10x plus 10 times y is 10y equals 10 million times 10 is 100 million. Now let's look at the second equation. Negative 100 times 0.10x is negative 10x. Negative 100 times 0.05y is negative 5y and negative 100 times 650,000 is negative 65 million. Okay, so now let me add the equations together. 10x plus negative 10x is 0, that drops out. 10y minus 5y is 5y. 100 million minus 65 million is 35 million. Okay, so now I want to solve for y, so I divide both sides by 5. And I have y equals 7 million. Okay. Remember, Y is the amount of money that LeBron put into the 5% interest stock. So we're talking money here. That's one of our answers. So how about the other stock, the 10% interest stock? Well, we take this Y equals 7 million, plug it into either of the first two equations. I'm going to plug it into the first one and we solve for x. So let's take the first equation, x plus y equals 10 million. x plus y equals 10 million. x plus, we're going to substitute 7 million in for y, 7 million equals 10 million. I want to solve for x, so I subtract 7 million from both sides, and I get x equals 10 million minus 7 million is 3 million. So that's our answer. LeBron put 3 million into his 10% stock, 7 million into his 5% stock, and after one year he earned $750,000. I hope that helps.